Hey guys, how's it going? I bet you weren't expecting to see me so soon, uh, given my track record, um, but here I am. And in this video we're going to be painting this uh, particular crankbait, which color I call the dead parakeet. So without further ado, let's uh, just jump right into it and I'm going to show you how to paint one of these cool looking uh, dead parakeet patterns. All right, so we're gonna start off with white primer. And as you can see, my lure is fairly dark, so I need to have some sort of background color because a lot of the colors that I'm gonna be using are gonna be fluorescent. And having a neutral color like white in the background is going to make them pop a lot more. As you notice, I didn't actually reduce the paint at all. And with this white primer, I usually don't have to. It does have a little bit of a grainy look, but that's okay because uh, a lot of that is going to be covered over anyway, so it's all good. Like I mentioned, most of this lure is going to be uh, painted with fluorescent colors. So the first color that's going in is going to be this uh, fluorescent yellow. Okay, so next we're going to start painting the scales. And as you can see, this time around I'm not using a tool fabric, um, which I would normally use. Instead, I have this metallic mesh that I have lying around for God knows how long, and I finally decided to use it for something. And uh, I've just formed it around the body uh, to make sure that it's tight and snug, and I'm just going to attach them with these uh, curtain snips. For the scales I'm going to be using pearl white and I've chosen pearl white because it's kind of like more uh, understated and subtle color so I think it's going to work really well in this uh, paint job. So one really good um, reason for using mesh instead of tool fabric is that I can actually take this off while the paint is still wet, like you'll see here. And the reason why you might want to do that if you're painting multiple of these, like I am actually right now, I have probably 50 or so uh, different paint job that I'm doing at the moment, so I'm switching between the mesh like crazy here. So next I'm going to move on to the head area and start doing details there, like the mouth and the gill details. And I usually always like to start with a background color, and this time around I'm using black to do that. Next step, uh, before we can actually start uh, painting any gill details or mouth or anything like that, I need to prime the belly of the bait, and of course I'm just going to use white for that. So next we're going to move on to painting the head details. And I'm going to start off with the mouth. And I'm still using the same white primer to do that. And as you can see, I'm actually not using a traditional stencil that I would actually just tape it onto the lure. I found that it's much easier to use um, actual stencils made out of tape so that I can um, make sure that I get no overspray and the lines are going to be very crisp. That is very important for a small lure like li like this. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave a montage of the uh, details that I'm painting here because I can't really think of anything in interesting to say about those because it's pretty much exactly the same all the way through. Now that I have all the head details painted, I can start going over them with this fluorescent yellow. And a good thing about this color in particular is that it's kind of semi-translucent or even translucent. And I'm not going to really lose any of the uh, shading details that I laid down earlier with the black, which is really great. It's a real time saver. Thank you. 
Next we're gonna paint the belly of the bait and since this is going to be more of a shock color rather than anything natural, I've chosen to use uh, orange here, which is a really good color. If I'm not painting anything with uh, pearl white, it's usually <laughs> with orange. So this is one of my go-tos for sure. All right, so next we're gonna add some blue and this blue will really uh, tie everything together. And I'm gonna be painting the back and a little bit on the eye area as well. All right, our paint job is almost done, but there's still one more thing that I need to do. That is to paint the fins. And I'm gonna start with this red because I want them to uh, be more in your face. So now that we have that nice uh, red background color, I'm just gonna use this black to uh, paint the fin rays. And I'm sure many of you have already seen this uh, from my previous videos, how I do this. So I basically just have this curved stencil. I start from the top and move myself down from there. And um, the trick here is to uh, have a consistent uh, spray and also consistent distance between all the fin rays or else it's gonna look weird. But uh, yeah, it's just something uh, that you need to practice on and it's not really that difficult. But yeah, that's pretty much all from me now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quickie uh, Soulful Baits uh, paint tutorial. And uh, yeah, I think this is a really good uh, beginner friendly uh, type of paint job that I'm sure that you will have no trouble replicating. I believe in you. But yeah. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed and see you guys on the next one.